Okay, you guys. So we're gonna do a number talk today. So what I want you guys to do first is put your pencils down, close your notebooks. Right now, <laughs> we're gonna do something where we don't write at all. And I don't even want you to even pretend to write, okay? I don't even want you to write it in the air. I want you to just think of it in your minds, okay? I want you to think about this in your mind. And then we're gonna discuss different approaches we have to it, okay? So uh, first of all, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write an item up on the board. And I want you to just think about it in your head and come up with the answer. Once you have the answer, don't raise your hand, don't tell your neighbor, don't say anything. Just think of it in your head and give other people a chance to think about how they would get the answer as well. Today we're gonna to do one with addition. So you guys are gonna get a sum in your mind, uh, but we could do this with other things as well. This is called a number talk. Does anybody have a guess why it might be called a number talk? Yeah. You are good. You are good. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're going to talk about numbers and number talk. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about numbers and we're going to make sense of the numbers. And you can, you'll, what you'll see is that the way you thought about it might be different than the way the other person thought about it, might be different than the way I thought about it, but we can all kind of see and learn from each other's ideas. Okay. So here we go. First thing I'm going to write it up on the board. 63. Again, don't write this down. Plus 28. And just now get the answer in your mind. Don't say anything. Give me a thumbs up if you have an answer. So you don't have to hold it up in there, just right here, just a thumbs up, just, just a symbol to me, okay? You don't need to hold your arm above your head, just right here, just right here, okay? Now, what I want you to do now is think of another way to get the answer besides the way you just did, okay? So spend some time, and if you get a second way, try to get a third way. Go ahead now and see, see if you can still add the numbers together, get your answer, but come up with it in a new way to get there. Go ahead and think about that. Come up with a second way to get that answer. All right, show me on your fingers. How many ways did you come up with? One way, two way, three ways? Show me on your fingers. What, how many ways did you come up with it? Okay, so I see some people just have one way. I see some people actually have two or three ways they, they did to, to put the numbers together. Okay, good. So let's hear uh, from you guys. And what I would like you to do, okay, traditionally our traditional algorithm was that you learned when you were younger. We stacked the numbers and then we uh, carried the one. I don't want you to share that way. Okay, I want to come up with some ways besides that traditional algorithm of how you could put these numbers together. So ra raise your hand and sh and if you have an idea, uh, what what what's your name? Urgent. Urgent. Go ahead. Tell us what you came up with. So I added the tens first. So sixty. Oh, 20. I forgot something. Sorry to cut you off. Let me hear your answers. Okay. Who's got? Who wants to share? an answer that you got, yeah. 35. 35? Um, 91. 91. Any answer besides 35 or 91? 81. 81. Any other answers? Yeah. I got 85. 85, okay. So these are the answers, and then you could defend your answer. Now, even if your answer is not right, you, we might learn some things from your defense and how you process things, or maybe you came up with an idea that uh, was a little bit different, okay? So please be respectful of everybody's ideas. Uh, I just was uh, talking to my students before. Last night in my class I'm taking at night, they, they said when people make mistakes, they're actually more likely to remember the information for longer, okay? So it's good to make mistakes, so I encourage that. Be, be, be brave and share. So Arjun, what answer were you defending? Um, 91. 91. Okay, go ahead. Share your idea now. I, stop, I cut you off. Say it again. So you add the 10, so 60 plus 20, which is 80. And then you add 8, eight plus 3, which is 11. And then you combine 80 plus 11, and that's 91. Raise your hand if you see his idea. Okay? We took the 10s, we combined the 10s, we took the 1s, we combined the 1s and we put them together. Okay, good, I like it. Who has an idea besides urgent? Uh, Kenny, go ahead. Uh, so pretty much I rounded off the 
different numbers, so I added two to 63 and two to um, 28. You added two to both of them? Yes. So you went 65 plus 30? Yes, yeah, so it would be 65, yeah. Okay. And then I added them, which would be 95. And then subtracted four because I pretty much and got 91. How many? How many people think adding 65 plus 30 is pretty easy to do in your head? Okay. How many of you did it the exact same way as Kenny? You rounded up, oh, a couple of people did. I'm surprised. I didn't think anybody would do it exactly like this because you're rounding off to 65 is a little bit unusual, right? But what you see from this is this, is Kenny said, you know what? I'm going to make these numbers numbers that I want to work with. I made this one too bigger and I made this one too bigger. So what, are they, what do you have to do if you made each of these too bigger? What do you have to do then? Yeah. Subtract two from both. Subtract the twos out. So, Kenny says, okay, take away the four there. You've got my answer of 91. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead. I'm just adding 91 because I first thought it was subtracting. Mary Kate, you write your name as two names, right? Two names? Yeah. Mary Space K? Okay. All right. Oh. You're saying at first you thought it was subtraction, so that's why one of these answers is yeah. you're no longer defending this one. Okay, yeah. all right, okay. So go ahead, tell me uh, what, you're, what you're thinking now then. Well, what I did was I, well, subtract from, well, subtract 28 from 93, which could do 35. Well, I don't know what Oh, I, that's what you did before for the 35. Yeah. Now tell me what you're gonna do for the adding. I was actually gonna do Kenny's away. Oh, similar to, well, you went 65 to 32? You did the exact same thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that would be so popular. Okay, all right, well, if you think of another way, jump in later. Who's got an idea that's, that's different from the ones that uh, are shared? Julian? Um, I can just add the three from 63 to 28, and I will get 60 plus 31, and I will know it's 91. Okay, so how many will agree if I, if I take uh, 63, I can make that 60 plus three. Do you guys see what he did there? Okay, so now, you know, it doesn't matter what order I'm going to put these in, but it's pretty easy to add 3 and 28. Okay, so now I got this once again. Okay, we see this trend coming where people are finding numbers that are easier to work with, right? Okay, so Julia says, you know what? 60 plus 3 is the same as 63. 3 and 28, 31. And then this is pretty easy to add these together. This is the right step, right, Julia? Mm -hmm. okay. And I get 91. Okay. All right, who has a different way to add it, to, to put these together besides any of the ones we have on the board? Um, Nicholas, go ahead. So I realized that my answer at first 85 was wrong, so. Oh, you don't want to defend this answer anymore? Yes. Okay, I'll take it off then. Also defending 91 as well. Okay. What I did is I minus 3 from 63 and I minus 3 from 28, so that was 60 plus 25, and what I didn't do was add back on the six that I subtracted. Oh, okay, okay, so, so. Same. Look, again, we're taking this away, so is it, look, let's uh, take away the three, so you're still making easier numbers, but you wanna get this one to 60, which is kind of interesting. You're doing the same thing as Kenny's way in a way yeah. you like to work with fives and tens, right? But you're doing it a little bit differently. So we're gonna take away the, this, take away this, and now you have 60 plus 25, which is, which is and now what? Okay, so you took away three here, you took away three here, so you got to add back six. Okay, and 85 plus six. Did I get your method right? That's what I wanted to get right. <laughs> but you forgot to add the six back. Okay, good. All right. Uh, Caleb, you want to share a different way? Yeah, uh, you can do a number line. So if you, um, if you divide 63 by three, you can count by threes from... Uh, Oh, uh, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay, let, 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 let's do this then, okay? Can somebody tell me how I could picture this on a number line and how I might use a number line to actually create a way to approach this, okay? Uh, Mary Kate, you want to say? Start at 63. And okay. then go 28 more. Which would get you to 91. Oh, okay. But then... You just kind of knew that then, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, 
hmm, how should I phrase my question then? How could I show one of these other ways on a number line? Do I take a shot at it? Go ahead, which way? Um, you could... Whose method? Um, oh, I don't have a method. Oh, a different one. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, the number line. Sick, go ahead, share. So you say I go 63 to 73, that's like 63 plus 20, and then I know I need to only go eight more spaces on the number line. Yeah? yeah? How many people can see, can visualize that? Okay? So 63 plus 20, and then uh, that put me to 83, but I know I still have to get the eight more from that 28, and then I could just do eight more spaces here, which gets me to 91. Okay? So interesting, interesting idea. Okay. Anybody else have another way they want to share? Hey, let's just do one, one more uh, um, method. Uh, Caleb, go ahead. Uh, it's pretty much uh, like Kenny's method, but on a number line. If you, uh, what do you call it, if you start at thirty and then you count by fives, you can get up to ninety-five, and then you sub er, you stop before it and then you only know, you know that you only have to go six. Okay, so you're saying you're going up by five and then you mm -hmm. see how many spaces you went up by five mm -hmm. and, then, and then, but how do you know when to stop? How do you know when so, to So, when you hit 90, you know that the answer is 91 because you start at 30 and you end at... Uh, oh, because you you, you're going up, uh, you're trying to get up 60 jumps? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, no. so you want to do jumps of 10 then? I, I, I'm just, uh, you're trying to jump to 60 because you're starting here? I'm just not exactly sure where you're. I'm trying to think how I want to phrase it. Okay, you can still think about that one. Okay, but uh, it seems like some of you, a lot of you guys are familiar with this kind of jumping the number line. Is that something you guys talked about in past math classes? Yeah, okay, all right, cool. Okay, so um, now we could jump by fives. But maybe it might have been a little quicker if you started the 60 then and then and then jump the 30. Is that, uh, Caleb, is that maybe where you maybe yeah. make less jumps? Start at the 60 and then jump jump the 30 spaces? Okay, I think that might have made it a little easier for our amount of jumps that we're jumping by five. Okay, so, all right, good. So, uh, that's what I want you guys to see is that, hey, your ideas uh, are different and the way you do it might be different. I, I was doing this with my son last night. He did it way differently than you guys. And you know what, let me share my son's way too, okay? His name's Josh. So, because I, I was talking to him about it because I was told him I was gonna do this with you guys. So he did, he did it like this. He said, well, instead of 28, I wanna add 30 because it's an easier number to work with, okay? 63 and then I'm gonna add 30, but I made this one too bigger. I'm just gonna take the two from this one. How many people see how he did that? I'm just adding numbers up so I can take the two from there. It's not going to change the total, right? Can I borrow two from there? And then my total is 91. Okay? All right. Uh, go ahead and stop the camera and 